Um, and Toronto of last year we got pumped at Creek Town Wrestling. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, they're all there. Play TV. Play TV. Okay. Well, I think it's, what, Triller now or something? But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because they still, yeah, they still got the handle. So, I'm still waiting for that. Diane Mr. Play TV. So, I'm waiting for them to be like, hey, you got to go by Mr. Triller TV. And I'm just waiting. But I just keep that fight. There you go. Now, I have a segment on the show I call it the, uh, the five count. It's just five random questions. Just uh, answer as quick as possible. Love it. Love it. Let's rock. Uh, what is your workout music of choice? Brunch. Oh, nice. Uh, if you owned a liquor company, brewery, winery, or coffee shop, which one would you own and what would the name be? Shit, I don't own all of them. What was the first one? <laughs> Liquor company, brewery, winery, or coffee shop? Liquor company called Jimmy Spirit. Oh, nice. This is, you said just fire them off. So these are, these are just slowly throwing. What's the second one? I love it. Uh, brewery. Brewery would be, oh, shit. Because I have the West Barkley sweet, spicy mustard that I, I'm trying Ooh. to drop, but I don't know how we're going to serve that as a brewery. Probably just Barclays Brewery. You just keep it simple, putting them on a nice little suburb, you know, just still a little spot, wood, a lot of wood grain. There you go. You serve hot dogs. That's how you That's how you have the mustard. I hate hot dogs. I'm going to be honest. Okay. Burgers. There we go. Okay. Or pretzels, right. obviously. Uh, people do mustard with pretzels as well. Yeah. Uh, what about winery? Winery. I would do the bottle would be called Barclay by West. That's what Ooh. that would be. It would be a red. Deep red. The, the winery would have to be like, it has to be like, and pan Barkley uh, vineyard, something like that, you know. That's beautiful. Yeah, uh, and coffee shop. Coffee shop. Well, oh, this is where you gotta hit them with like a. It'd be called like meditate. You know what I mean? You hit them with a one Ooh. word. You know you're gonna get a good vibe in it. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and you got local singer songwriters playing on the weekend. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, what are three things so on your? I owe you something. I'm yeah. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's that's what this all is. It's just a giant think tank. It's just uh, it's not a podcast. There it is. Uh, what three things are still on your bucket list? Three things on my bucket list. Oh wow! I fuck. Oh, I'm just being real. Uh, this one's like the lowest, it just came to mind first. The lowest thing on the bucket list is to go skydiving. I really don't want oh. to do it, but it's on my bucket list and I have to do it. But I really don't. You have I'm to. not in the mood to do it right now. I know I got it. Though. That's on the bucket <laughs> list. Um, damn. Probably, damn. De- definitely like wrestle for WWE. That's on the bucket list. That's, That'd be amazing. That's on the bucket list. Um, like WrestleMania, yeah, that's fucking cool. And then, uh, Rock Mexico. That's another bucket list. You gotta Ooh. That's, yeah, that's the goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, who yeah. or what inspires you? Who inspires Shit. I'm inspired by my parents, for sure. That's awesome. Um, in life, parents in life. In wrestling, is Matt Cardona inspires me. Um, okay. in society, my little brother, because he's a legend, he inspires me. <laughs> and then, uh, the gym is probably someone on YouTube, you know, someone talking shit, they probably inspire me. But yeah, I would say my parents. <laughs> uh, and what would you tell your 17 year old self? 17-year-old self 13 years ago. I would say sign up for wrestling school right now. Talk going to college. Sorry for anybody out there going to college. I'd be like, grind it out right now. And I don't know. Invest in something Apple. It was probably high that. Invest in Apple or Google or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Now, if anybody wanted to find out more about you, follow you online, buy your merch, come see you live, how can they yeah. do all the things? See me live, 
next week, next Saturday, I'm home, coming out. Sorry, with uh, February 3rd, Akron, Ohio, Absolute Intense Wrestling. I'm back. I want my intense title back from Eric Taylor. I'm going to do anything it takes to get it. Um, so follow me online. Check me out on Instagram at Maserati West and uh, Twitter or X at West Barkley. About to make a YouTube page pop off there. I got a cameo. Yeah. I'm going to talk some shit or fire you up and get you motivated. I got some uh, other stuff cooking. I can't leak too much about, but it'll be posted soon. If you need supplements, check out Rhino Power. That's protein in the game. Use code WEST20 for 20% off. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time, Wes. Uh, I can't wait to see how the rest of 2024 goes out for you. And, uh, you know, everybody be on the lookout for your WrestleMania. Hell yeah. Love it. Thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. No problem. Thank you so much to Wes for being on the show. Again, check out Wes Barkley. Go check him out live. See what he's got going on and see where he is going to end up. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, while you're doing that, checking out local wrestling, make sure to tag us and follow us on the social medias. It is Bruiser's Pod. That is B-R-E-W-S-C-R-S-P-O-D on the Instagram, the threads, and the Twitter. If you would like to send us an email, it is bruiserspod at gmail.com. If you want to follow me directly, it is Rodi John. That is R O D I E J O N. Rodi John is the name on the Twitter and on Untapped. In case you want to find out what I'm drinking, maybe we can have a beer together. If you want to follow me on the Instagram or the threads, it is official Rodi John. And if you are so inclined, send me an email over at Rodi John at gmail.com. So until next time, make sure to enjoy life, drink local, and cheers. Mm-hmm.